Girl, forget the intro. This is Final Curls after hours, okay? Final Curls at night, if you will. Mm -mm. No filter, okay? We, this is me just talking. So, buckle up, okay? It's been a long day, y'all. It's been such a long day. But y'all, am I the only one whose eyes gets like irritated at the end of the day? Well, not even really at the end of the day. It'll be like in the evening time. My eyes will just randomly get irritated. And then it gets like 10 times worse when I have mascara on. Like mascara just amplifies the issue. I probably have like dries and should probably use some eye drops. But no, I'm not gonna do that. And yeah, mascara just makes it worse. So I be like trying really hard not to be rubbing my eyes when I got mascara on because I be looking like I just lost a loved one the way the mascara be all over my eyes and stuff. Like I, it'd be a pain though because like once my eyes get to burning, it's hard to get them to stop. Like I be having to grab like a paper towel or something and just like scratch the inner corners of my eyes real quick because if i don't my eyes will be burning so bad like it's so bad oh my gosh but i'm gonna be taking this um uh, this micellar cleansing water this has been so clutch i just started using this recently like a couple months ago and this is way better than what i was doing to get my makeup off before like i would um I would just like use any kind of oil, like whether it was this bio oil or like vitamin E oil or something. Like any oil I had for my skin on hand, I would use that to get the makeup off first. And then I would go on with a couple makeup wipes and then I'd wash my face a couple times. But now, now that I got this cleansing water, I don't need none of that oil. I got this water. So it's basically just regular water, but like for makeup to get your makeup off so that's what i've been using normally i like going with a makeup wipe first when i just when i don't have like a full face of makeup on but since uh well for one i think i left my makeup wipes in louisiana so now now all i have left is this my cellar cleansing water and because i'm sitting here at my desk and not in the bathroom i'm gonna use this instead of um just going straight in and washing my face because i'm like i want to sit down and talk to y'all for a minute you know is there anything wrong with that i think not so yeah i just want to get the basic makeup off like especially like because i put highlight on i did my brows and I did mascara. So I just wanna get that off real quick before I start talking because makeup be irritating me. Like I love the outcome of putting on, putting on like a little bit of makeup to enhance my features a little bit. But at the end of the day, I be ready to take this off so quick. I be ready to take this off so quick. But anyway, oh my gosh, this feels so good y'all. Like I haven't been able to scratch my eyes all day. Now I can finally just give in to the urge give in like it's all i've been wanting to do hey hi by the way hope y'all are having a great day <laughs> definitely forgot to like greet myself but um yeah this final book curls at night welcome to my get unready with me forget all that intro stuff we just gonna get right into what i want to talk about and that's that but i am back home in georgia if y'all don't know i live in georgia i always say like i'm from louisiana i'm from donaldsonville because i'm military and since I'm military, I moved around for most of my childhood. This is just where my dad happened to retire at. So, you know, this is where I live. No matter where I was living at, my family, my whole family, both sides, my mom's side, of, I mean, my mom's side of the family and my dad's side of the family, both sides live in Louisiana, literally like a parish apart. And if y'all don't know, Louisiana doesn't have counties, they have parishes. And my two sides of the family, they're literally the only parish that's between them is Ascension Parish. Like, that's literally one parish. So, no matter where we were living at, we would always go to Louisiana for, like, holidays or just random occasions, whatever it may be. We always came back to Louisiana. That's one of the reasons why, why I say I'm from there. But also because you can take a man out of Louisiana, but you cannot take Louisiana out of a man. Like, both of my parents, they clearly from Louisiana. Like, like I think the only thing that they don't really have anymore is their accents, but even that be coming out sometimes. So like, because they're clearly from Louisiana and like that part of themselves is like just set in stone, it's definitely rubbed off on me. Like they taught me 
from the food to the culture to everything like that. Like I know about all of that stuff. Even though I may have never lived there, I still like been very much a part of it. So I always say I'm from there as opposed to saying I'm from here in Georgia. Even though Georgia is the place that I've lived the longest, but still like the place, the area I'm from in Georgia, Augusta, really don't have no culture. At least not like Louisiana do that I can identify with like here, except maybe like um, where I went to school at and my friends and stuff. Other than that, like, I'm not from here. <laughs> I'm not from here. I don't know nothing about this place, okay? And I probably never will. So it is what it is. But anyway, that's definitely like not why I turned on this camera to talk. I just, I just feel like, I just feel like talking tonight. Um, matter of fact, let me take off this necklace before I forget. But y'all, um, I finished the semester off with all A's and one B. And I only had 17 hours a semester, which is, I know, a lot to some people, most people actually, but compared to like the load I've had since I've been in college, like 17 hours is nothing. Uh, since I've been in college, I've had at least at least 18 hours, 18 or 19 hours. And that just, that just seems normal to me. I don't know, it's about the equivalent as being in high school, honestly, like same amount of hours that you gotta put into schoolwork. Dang, I can't get this off. So yeah, I really been like high functioning this whole time. So now that I, now that I had 17 hours a semester for once, I'm like, dang, this this easy as hell. So the only thing was microbiology. That's the only class that I gotta be in. Understandably so, because STEM, don't get me started on them people. Lucky that I finished with an 80, cause child, a lot of these people be doing a lot worse than that. So I'm just, I'm just blessed to be here. Blessed to be on the ride, but <laughs> anyway, y'all, I got nails because, matter of fact, I think I told y'all this in a, another video, but I got nails because I finished my piano minor. And if y'all don't know, like, you can't really have nails when you're trying to play piano and do sports and all that. And I've been doing this like my whole life. So I never really had the opportunity to get my nails done and go to the nail salon and all that, unless I was getting a pedicure. But other than that, like I would not get my nails done. So in honor of me completing my piano minor, I went out and got a um, acrylic set, which I've only done this one other time. It was for my, my um, 20th birthday in March. But literally like before that, I've never gotten my nails done ever. You know, it's a huge milestone because now I can get nails whenever I want and not have to worry about anything. It was one of those like, now I can finally do this moments. So I went out and did it. But I feel like in the future, if I get an acrylic set, they're gonna have to be shorter because I cannot get this necklace. Okay, I think I finally got it. Oh my gosh. Why, was, why is that so hard? I wish they would make the necklace clamps like way easier. But anyway, so yeah, um, I got these which y'all have been hearing me click clack in all these doggone videos because I don't know how to act with nails, clearly. But I think next time, like, I think I'm gonna take these off or maybe I'll get a fill-in because I've never gotten a fill-in. I might do that for the one time. And then after that, I'm gonna probably take these off and try to go grow my real nails out because my real nails actually grow out really long. Like, if y'all have seen any of my videos that I happen to post over the summer, this past summer, those were my real nails. And they grow like really long. So I'm perfectly capable of growing my real nails. And since I am, I definitely prefer my real nails over these because these are not like, or maybe they are flexible and I'm just not used to them, but they feel a lot more like harder. Like they don't really budge compared to like real nails. Real nails are definitely more flexible in my opinion. So I prefer those because I can function more with them. Like I'll be struggling to type and do a lot of stuff with these. So. Yeah, I think when I take these off, I'm gonna just go back to growing on my real nails, which I think is a bigger flex anyway. Like I love wearing my real nails. Like that was another thing because I was playing sports and playing piano and all that. Like I really could not have nails. I couldn't have fake nails. I couldn't have real nails. And it sucked because I knew like I could grow my nails out for real, for real. And they'd be like super, super long. Cause I was able to like when I was really little and like up until like in the elementary school but yeah because i knew like i could grow really long nails and really long hair like i always want to wear like my real assets my my nails my hair all that stuff and now i can finally do that so that's what i'm gonna be doing yeah now i just gotta finish out and get my psych major degree 
and my bio minor and then we off to grad school but that's a whole nother that's a whole nother thing y'all i have to do well i don't have to i opted in to um do an honors distinction for my psych major and with that i have to do a thesis and i basically have to run an experiment and write a research paper on it and all that stuff so i'm gonna be doing all that starting next semester because it's the second half of my junior year and then i'm gonna be doing it all through my senior year so that'll be fun and i'm gonna also be applying to grad school because the plan is to go straight into grad school after i graduate i don't know if i'm actually do that but that is the plan so i'm gonna be doing this thesis and then uh and the fall semester senior year comes i'm gonna be applying to grad school and yeah it's gonna be a lot going on but at least i won't have to worry about this music minor anymore because believe it or not like that low-key took up a lot of my brain because playing piano you have to practice that every day you have to at least touch some keys once a day every day i'm thinking like dang i need to practice i need to practice today before i go to sleep like that is constantly on my mind because the thing is a lot of the time i don't be wanting to practice like there's just so much other things that i would rather do like i love playing piano don't get me wrong but there's other things that i would just prefer to do like this creating content i'll take creating content over playing piano because i just like i like editing i like filming and stuff but yeah because there's so many other things that i be wanting to do a lot of the times playing piano for me just gets put on the back burner and because like i was taking these classes and meeting up with my professor for class credit like it was some I couldn't push to the back burner as much as I wanted to. Like I still had to practice every day if I wanted a good grade, if I wanted to get this minor. So practicing was just something I had to do. And like, basically I was dealing with a lot of cognitive dissonance because I didn't want to practice, but I knew I had to practice. So it would be this constant back and forth. Like, oh, I don't want to do this, but I need to. I need to pick a time to do this. I need to da -da -da. Like I need to, just constantly thinking about it because it's taking me forever to get around to it, right? So, yeah, I'm glad that's over because now I can spend more time doing other things like this. Yeah, I need to wash my face. Let me, since it's coming to the end of the year, I guess I could reflect a little bit on what's been going on in my life since since my last get on Ready With Me, which a lot has changed since then. I know y'all, I told y'all about like what happened and how I'm single now. I'm single again. Told them we'll be better off friends. By the way, I'm using this CeraVe hydrating cream the foam cream the foam cleanser i actually love this cleanser i like this better than any other cleanser i've used like this is a staple now this is the only cleanser i'm gonna use now because it's so gentle and it keeps my skin relatively clear i've noticed like not only does it keep the black hairs away but it also keeps the white hairs and the cysts away which i noticed like because in the past i would use biore and the thing with Biore was like, it was great with blackheads, but when it came to like any other type of acne, it was like, eh, you know? But with this cleanser, I feel like it keeps my face really clean. And because of that, like, I don't get any acne at all for real, unless I'm like eating chocolate, cause that breaks me out. But whenever I'm not eating chocolate and I'm like, you know, not doing things to make my skin worse, this facial, this face wash really works. I love it. And I've been seeing a lot of people use it, so. But like basically the last video, I came to terms with the fact that I basically have an anxious attachment to them. I'd be afraid of like people just like not following through with their words and you know, just not following through with whatever they claim they want to do and stuff. Whether it's with me, whether it's like their personal endeavors or whatever, like a lot of people just say stuff and just don't mean it. Because that's happened to me so much, I'm just so afraid of it happening again and stuff like that that i just be i just be trying to take control of it and overextend myself when i shouldn't like i need to i need to just relax basically so i love keeping doing that i've been doing a good job like i haven't been reaching out too much to people i just kind of been in my own bubble low-key and then like another thing like since this breakup I realized like I am so afraid of speaking up. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. I would get that dude would gaslight me so much, or at least try to gaslight me because I knew I wasn't the problem most of the time. And if I was the problem, I would apologize at some point. But um, yeah, he would um just basically like 
brush me off like this isn't something to be this isn't something you're making a big deal about why are you making such a big deal out of things like if that's how you feel the textbook things that people say when they don't want to take accountability right so because of that like i just when it comes to anybody now i'm low-key so scared of speaking up because i just i just don't want none of that anymore i don't want any of that arguing going back and forth i don't want any of that anymore so like i do still speak up because like i'm gonna get i'm gonna get what i have to say out if anything but now like i'm just i'm so sick of arguing with anybody now like I, all the arguing is out of me like i don't want no i don't want no parts of that anymore so now like i'm gonna just i just be saying what i need to say how i feel and all that i leave everything i'm feeling all out on the table and then i don't care what your response is after that to be honest like i said what i said you can take it you can leave it but i'm not gonna go back and forth with you anymore so like if i tell you i felt this way because you did this and this and this and i didn't like it da, 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 and your response isn't taking any accountability for it and you not gonna change anything i'm gonna just move around i'm gonna just move around and act accordingly because at that point like i'm not gonna convince you i'm not gonna convince you to act right those days of me doing that are over because i just i can't do it anymore i can't now I just say what I need to say and move out the way. That's that's my philosophy right now, to be honest with you. But um, let me go rinse my face off real quick. But yeah, ever since I started doing that, I've been noticing a lot more about people. And I mean, like, I noticed a lot about people already because that's what I do. I observe. But now that I just kind of just stopped trying to go back and forth with people, I've, I've seen a lot more behaviors now that i'm just kind of just moving moving in silence to be honest with you like if you ain't if you ain't trying to hear me out not trying to change your behavior i just kind of sit back and watch like what are you doing what are you doing and how am i gonna how am i gonna go about this without your help and i definitely noticed things about people it's very interesting a lot of people just don't like taking accountability a lot of people are just not considerate at least not on the level that i'm considerate like there's just some things that i realize like i think about a lot like but other people that that probably don't even cross their mind like when it comes to like supporting people i'm probably one of the most supportive people you can find like one of the most supportive friends you can find but i don't be getting that in return and i realize like it's not like on purpose or maybe it is and i just don't know but i like to think that it's not on purpose it's just that people just lack consideration i gotta scrub the lips y'all but yeah people just lack consideration a lot like even like for example like when it comes to like supporting my content like i be supporting people's content all the time and it don't be strangers i support my friends i repost their stuff i post their pictures on my story on the gram and stuff like i do all of that because it only takes like two seconds to do like of course of course i'm gonna do that like it's not hurting me it only takes like two seconds what's the harm none right but when it comes to me for some reason i be having strangers support me more than my friends do for sure like it just when it come to me i guess it don't cross their mind like hey i should probably repost her reels because she's actually trying to create content like as somebody who's actually trying to create content like i am actually trying to do this like do the social media shit you would think like my friends and everybody around me would be trying to like support that and get my content out to other people regardless of if they like my content or whatever like maybe they like they have friends that i don't know or people that are following them and stuff that might like my content more so you should try to get my content out to them but it's like nobody thinks like that and if they do then it's definitely envy or like jealousy or something something underneath there but i like to think that it's just a lack of consideration like hey my friend will benefit from this let me just post them real quick like let me just offer them support real quick and it's crazy because i offer this this consideration for people that don't even do the stuff I do. Like, like I don't y'all don't make content. Y'all ain't trying to make content and actually like get paid for this. Even though like that's not the goal for me. But you know, like I actually want to get my content out to people and like help people 
through my platform. I know like my other friends, my other acquaintances, they ain't, they ain't trying to do that. And you know, I do the same thing for other content creators. I see like they want to get their content out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna repost them if I like, you know, what they're doing. And if they were my friend, like I'm gonna post you regardless cause you're my friend. Like if I don't like it, somebody else will. So regardless, like I'm a support. I'm a support, especially if this is what you want to do. Like, but for some reason, I just don't be getting that same consideration. And I just think it's very interesting. And it's not just with like social media and stuff. I'm just using that as an example. But I've noticed like just, just in life in general, I just tend to see the bigger picture and I've had to, I've had to realize abruptly, not everybody sees the bigger picture. Not like I do. And that's not even me being cocky. Like a lot of people just do not see the bigger picture. They do not, they do not have the capacity of consideration that I do. And because of that, I know like in the past, especially like in my relationship, I, because I would see the bigger picture and like other people don't. I'll be trying to get them to see the bigger picture, but I've had to realize like s sometimes it's just not for them to see. Not everybody is meant to see the bigger picture. And I had to realize like just, you know, the purpose that God gives you is sometimes just not for everybody. I've had to realize like maybe my purpose is seeing the bigger picture and, you know, dealing with this information that sometimes I don't be wanting to see or hear. But since, since I got the information and, and whatever, the insight, the bigger picture. Sometimes, you know, I just gotta pray about it. Like that's probably what my, what I'm meant to do. Instead of trying to get other people to see what I see, like not everybody's meant to have my eyes. Just like how nobody's meant to have God's eyes. Like only God has his eyes. And you know, God has given some people like me, at least I like to think me. God has given some people the ability to see more than what others see. And I just, at this point, it's just not my job to try to convince people to see what I'm seeing or like consider what I'm considering. Like, and it's just, it's a great gift, but it's, it's a little disheartening because I be seeing, I see it like all the possibilities of ways that people could support me. And I see so many ways that I can support other people, but I know nine times, nine times out of 10, I'm probably not gonna get that back in return because People just don't see it. And you know, it sucks. By the way, I use bio oil, of course, and aloe vera gel, which I'm gonna have to get some more soon. But um, yeah, maybe it's just a lack of, lack of consideration. Maybe it's just people don't like me or are intimidated by me or, you know, that whole thing. Or maybe it's, excuse me, or maybe it's both. I don't know, I see it, I see it, it's different with it's different with different people. Some people, I've seen them post strangers, post whatever the fe whatever the hell they used to be seeing on Instagram when they first open an app. They be reposting any and everything. But when it come to me, crickets, no repost, no likes, no nothing. Like they ain't see the post. When I know you see the post, cause you always on the gram, you always on TikTok. How you don't see my stuff, but you see everybody else stuff. When it's clear like that. Yeah, it's definitely something going on there. It's definitely a problem there. But for a lot of people, they just they just lack the they just lack the mindfulness. They like the mindfulness. I like that word, mindfulness. Yeah, this second this whole like second half of the year, I kind of just been sitting back and really evaluating my circle and just who's around me, who's in my inner circle, who's in my outer circle, and just observing everybody. And it's definitely eye-opening. And I've realized like in the past, I'll be asking for a lot of stuff that I should not have to ask for. Like I need to stop. If I feel like I shouldn't have to ask for it, why am I asking? I should leave it alone and just find somebody else that will. Cause if you want somebody else will, for sure. And that's another thing, like I just, I just don't really trip anymore. Honestly, like before I got into that relationship, I was probably the most laid back person ever. Matter of fact, I was most laid back in my senior class in high school, but that's besides the point. I was hella laid back, but for some reason when I got into that relationship, for some reason when I get attached to people, that be changing, I be caring, I be caring. It's when I start caring that all that, all that mindfulness and chillness and all that stuff just goes out the window and it's like I, I just want people to care about me so bad in the same way that i care for them like i'll just low-key be asking for too much 
I realized like I shouldn't be asking for some of the stuff I be asking for. I just need to go find other people. Find somebody else that'll do what I'm asking them to do. So find somebody else that will give me the support that I'm looking for. Until I find that, I'm gonna just kind of be in my little hole. Not gonna lie to you. Cause for a while now, like years, I just been feeling like, I just been feeling isolated. And I can't believe I'm saying this on camera, but it's true. Like I have been feeling like very isolated from everybody else. Like I'm just, I'm just not the same. <laughs> I'm just not the same. I don't, I don't love the same as a lot of people. My level of careness, my level of caring is just on a different level. And you know, basically like I'm a great friend to have. And with that, a lot of people just cannot just cannot raise up to my level of like companionship. And now that I realize that, I just kind of been like, you know, whoever comes, comes. Whoever stays, stays. Whoever leaves, leaves. I don't care at this point. I'm just doing me. Like, I've been rhyming heavy lately. Like, come on with the bars. <laughs> Watch out now. But, um, no, for real. Like, I just been chilling, staying to myself. Like, just basking in my isolation at this point until some people come along that can reciprocate on the same level as me like how i do but yeah i think i'm at that point in like healing where i can talk about what happened and like reflect on what happened without getting like super sad or depressed or anything like that like i can truly evaluate it from a from a neutral stance finally like no stages of grief or anything like this is what happened and now i can come confidently say like that was so shitty <laughs> i hope i never go through something like that ever again but yeah it's crazy out here <sighs> but yeah i definitely see the fruits that are coming out of my healing stages like i i don't know if y'all noticed but this is the most consistent i've ever been with producing content especially on youtube i've never posted daily on youtube ever before like this is huge for me and i'm still posting content on instagram and tiktok consistently too like every other day like i'm doing all this shit at once like i've never done that before like ever like that's huge i probably wouldn't have been able to do this if I was still in that relationship, if I was still in the mindset that I was in a couple months ago, everything really does happen for a reason. God be putting you in these positions for a reason, trust. And like, even if he wasn't the one to put you in this position that you're in, like it ends up working out all, it ends up working out at some point. Like all of this, sh all this shit is really just temporary. So if you're in a bad place, don't worry, it's temporary. You'll get out of it soon. And yeah, something just comes out of everything. You just gotta be self-aware and look for look for what the lesson is. Look for what the seasoning is in the sauce, okay? Because I guarantee you there's something there in everything. There's a lesson out of everything, honestly. Yeah, those are my lessons that I've been, at least the most prominent ones. Oh, another one is, oh my gosh. The devil's attacks become stronger the closer you get to God. Oh my goodness. Y'all, I've been seeing this message everywhere. In my dreams. In the situations that have been happening to me, in the way people are talking to me, like it's the the videos I be watching about like what happens to other people, like I've been seeing that message everywhere. Like it's truly in my heart right now. And it's just so relevant to me right now. And it's crazy how like, cause I definitely have fallen off like reading the word and stuff. If y'all didn't know, like I'm Christian, I'm Baptist. But yeah, y'all can hear me talking about God and religion. So, you know, if you don't relate, you don't relate. That ain't none of my business. This is my channel, okay? But anyway, yeah, I definitely fell off reading the word, especially like um, during the breakup and everything. I totally fell off and like the semester kicked in and all that, like I ain't, the word was not on my mind besides the verse of the day, okay? So despite that, the Lord has still been talking to me and he been, he been all up in my head talking to me, correct? Like, I cannot make this up. Like, either he talking to me through other people or he talking to me through my Holy Spirit. He in my head. He talks to me through these videos I be watching. Like, I be seeing the message. I be seeing the message. I be seeing the angel numbers, the messages. I I see it all. And it's crazy because, like, even though I may have put, 
put down the word for a little minute, he's still he's still talking to me. And I'm so glad I'm able to recognize it and discern it. Dang, what was I saying? But yeah, the devil's attacks become stronger the closer you to God. That's definitely that's definitely like something I've some something I've realized for myself because of what's been happening to me in like the past year and just what I've been seeing happening to other people and also like my dreams like this, sh this should really be crazy but um but yeah there's nothing else I can really say other than like it's true the devil really be coming for you when he knows like there's something bigger in store and there's something bigger in store for you that's about to happen real soon so you know whenever you feel like something's going so bad and like it's just going so downhill and nothing's going right that probably mean like the devil coming for you because you finna have you finna have a big come up like anything regarding life if you feel like you're going like this you bound to come back up at some point you bound to like life isn't linear it's not it's not always gonna go down it's not always gonna go up you're gonna be like this you gonna be like this so if you're going down don't worry you're gonna come back up at some point so but that being said like anytime you notice like it's just so much bad shit happening to you all at once and it just seems like it's never gonna end i promise you it's gonna end it's all temporary it's all temporary yeah the devil just be coming for you and that's that's okay like just stay strong because the lord has something in store for you very very soon you just gotta wait on it i did not mean to preach on his channel like that but um you know maybe it resonates with you i hope you got some value out of it or you know i don't know i just be talking <laughs> but uh but yeah i'm just i'm really just speaking from like my own personal experience like i got in a car crash last year it wasn't a bad one but it was my first ever car crash that i've ever been in and like that was hella nerve wracking. And then I got accused of like cheating in one of my classes, even though like, do it look like, I don't I don't cheat, I don't do any of that. I don't copy from other people's assignments. Like, no, I got accused of that. So I had to go through like a whole thing with LSU and them. And then I had a breakup in July and f found out I got cheated on a couple months later. And then now the people I got in an accident with are trying to, sue my insurance company because they claim to be injured even though ain't shit injured about them like it's just a bunch of and then like during all this i gotta worry about my classes and stuff and also producing content and it's like a lot of stuff be hitting me all at once and if it's not all at once like it just be you know i'll be doing good and then boom like just something off just some outlandish just be hitting me out of nowhere like what when this come from the devil be coming for me the devil be coming for you girl and i know like y'all probably relate to this too like it's whatever you want to call it but i call it the devil he be trying to steal your joy he be trying to steal your faith from god and you know that's never gonna happen like the devil really stupid because anytime he do that my faith in god just gets stronger because i be coming out of these situations stronger than ever and you know no weapon formed against no weapon formed against me shall prosper okay period yeah that's really like the huge message that's been on my heart since probably probably last year around this time honestly but it's been like heavy heavy in what i've been seeing and hearing and experiencing these past couple months like it's been crazy yeah i think that's really all i have to talk about I mean, it's probably something else that I'm gonna probably like remember when I'm trying to fall asleep and I'm gonna be like, dang, I forgot to say that. But I can't remember right now. So, but yeah, I'm all done with my night routine. I ain't do no face masks because I really, I just didn't feel like it. I feel like self care is also just like, I'm finna just wash my face and go to bed because I don't feel like doing all that extra stuff. You know, sometimes that's self care. I feel like, anyway. <laughs> but, yeah, that's the end of the video. Hopefully y'all enjoyed. Hopefully y'all got some value out of this, some advice, some, some, something to uplift your spirits, whatever. Some of you, hopefully you took away from it somehow. But yeah, you can subscribe, like, watch more of my Get Young Ready With Me's because I do have a couple on, a couple, a couple mini on this channel. Um, So yeah, you don't have to, you don't have to hit any, any of those buttons to follow my social media or any of that. But if you want to support your girl and if you want to see more content from me, then you would just go ahead and hit those buttons real quick and check out all my other stuff that I have up. And yeah, because it only takes like a couple of seconds. But I digress. 
remember to never stop growing and i'll see y'all in the next video in like a couple hours because it's gonna go up late okay it's late night late night final curls okay late night kayla in the building but anyway <laughs>